Hello, how are you, my dear water signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This is Angel Car Reading with Grace. My name is Grace, and the reading is for June 2016. The best news is the planet Mars. Action. Action. Energy. Thank God. It's gonna move forward again on June 29th. So if you felt like me, a little stuck and heavy and sleepy, tired, <laughs> we should wake up, okay, on that day. So let's see what is for my lovely Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay, let's start immediately. My Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Uh, we're starting with um, the energy that we're coming in, and then we're ending with the energy we're going uh, to July. And in the meantime, love, fairies, and everything else, good. Now it's Archangel Gabriel. Cancer. Ooh, two cards. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Mermaids and dolphins. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The love, 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 love card. Cancer. Scorpio and Pisces, my beautiful fairies, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, and the energy at the end that we're going to July with, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Okay. Let me first look into Cancer before I look anywhere else. Okay, my dear Cancer. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Intriguing, I would say. Okay, so we start the month, so if you're coming to this month, my dear Cancer, tired. Didn't I just say in the introduction how tired I, I am because of this Mars retrograding? You're going to be tired too. So either you're tired or you're disappointed with some things, maybe some things took or taking too long um, to find a resolution. You need a vacation, you need a break, you need to just go somewhere okay and um you may be put you, you're so tired because you you may be put in a situation that you need to come up with some kind of resolution or some kind of decision and you're already tired you already were now you have enough and you know what don't make the decision in this kind of state of uh, mind and body and emotions. Just go somewhere, even if it's just for a day or two. Um, meditate, go into nature, and let the answer come to you not naturally. So leave more time to make this decision, okay? Now, uh, Archangel Gabriel says that... Um, Something new is coming, like a new idea, a new project, uh, for some maybe newborn baby somewhere. But um, you would be really good, and by the way, happy birthday for those who celebrate birthday, um, since it's a birthday. Uh, some of you may be working with the media, okay, um, and uh, either you writing or you speaking or you whatever you doing it's a good thing and and it's a new project 
that needs maybe more talking about it, showing to the public. Because I, I don't like the word advertising, but it's kind of, you know, time to show off, tell somebody about what's going on. And you have extra magic. Look, you see this card is on the same, the same on both sides and it's this beautiful full moon. So I wonder if it's around that full moon you you obviously will have extra magical energy so whatever is the new project whatever that you need to do expect even miracles so talk about it okay use media if you if you need to youtube facebook google plus twitter whatever that is and when it comes to your love life accept help and ask for help your friends so some of you maybe dreaming about finding that right person, dreaming, dreaming. But the angels say it's time to let people know that you're looking for it. Okay? You never know. Some of you need some healing. I see chakras here because that's the uh, main energy um, right there. And you simply emotionally feel Maybe some of you feel really just like here. Tired. Down. And once you heal your chakras, you heal yourself, then the blockages will go away and you open up to love, creativity, good health, wealth, everything, all blessings. So um, that would be good for you, emotional healing. Go through, um, one of my services is 17 uh, minutes of healing. It's really good. If you need it, please go for it. Also on Vimeo, watch, the link is down below. It looks like uh, this would be a good uh, thing for you this month. But the end is very interesting, I have to say. After all that, <laughs> being so tired and everything, boy, you're falling in love. Suddenly. You don't expect it. It's not like you can prepare yourself for it. You're going to be swept off your feet. How about that cancer? So, once this comes, they just warn you, uh, be kind of uh, more present uh, and don't go for the first guy who comes on a horse, Prince Charming. Just kind of be grounded. That may come also around the full moon. So, yeah, because it's, it's all magic, 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 but also can be the guy that or, or the lady that you've been always waiting for. So, wow, good for you, Cancer. Happy birthday, lots of love, many kisses, <laughs> hugs, and until we meet again. My dear Scorpio, what's for you? Let me take a quick look. Okay, it's kind of pretty straightforward. It starts with justice. It's a karmic card to me, okay? What you sow, you're gonna reap. What goes around, comes around. If you have a case in a court, it may settle and the justice will be done. Now, they showing me, that this is Archangel Gabriel, don't compromise your ideas. Whatever you say, whatever you're doing at this time is, um, is right. Listen to your intuition. Stay true to yourself. Listen to your intuition. You know who you are at the core. I hope you are Scorpio <laughs> so if you don't know then I don't know who does okay you know who you are now you need to forgive yourself for what you've done in the past 
because guilt uh, is a really um, not a good thing. It's uh, not doing any favor to you. So let go of the old guilt and, guilt and always remember that in a God's eyes you are a perfect child, okay? When it comes to love, keep an open mind. So now, if you are single, your soulmate maybe is not exactly who you think uh, it is right now as you're sitting and watching me. He's got to be this way, he's got to be this, or she's got to be... <laughs> uh, it's going to be different. When you meet that person, give them a chance, listen to your intuition. But don't look... Don't, don't, oh, I always wanted him to be tall and whatever. And I always wanted him looking a certain way, acting a certain way. No. you got to look a little deeper, right, to your soul. So give him a chance on a soul level. If you are married, I'm going to take another card. You deserve love. You're lovable. So aim at something. Are you building that marriage? Or you don't want to be there anymore? Whatever it is, go for it. Only you, using your intuition, knows the answer. And talking about answers, the answers will come in the winter time. So if you know their hemisphere, it's still pretty long. If you're in the southern, pretty soon. So it depends where you are. But the winter time will give you answers, many answers that you've been looking for. And talking about winter again, is five of winter. And five of winter says, walk away from any dishonest associations, from any conflict, from any negativity, from any toxicity. I think by the end of June, you will know deep down what's good for you. And you're going to make a right decision. And you're going to give up on some people because deep down you will know that this is not worth the effort. It's a loss of time, energy, and money. Good for you, Scorpio. I hope you're going to have a wonderful June. Many kisses, hugs. <laughs> Have a wonderful June, like I said, um, lots of love, and until we meet again. Okay, Pisces, I'm Pisces too, so I'm waiting what is for us now. Just let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, wonderful. So, we're starting with a dreamer. Some other sign got this message, I think, was uh, Capricorn. Um, I'm Pisces, I have a Capricorn destiny. Boy, it's wonderful. So, the dreamer. Some call a fool. And that's the energy we're coming to June with. Which means, okay, never mind what anybody says. I gotta do what is good for me. And it may seem to be foolish, but to me, it's the right thing to do. And boom, going my own way. Because I've done this before and I never regret it, I know it's a good move. So I'm happy. Uh, this also may be unexpected opportunity. So as I'm sitting here, I don't know about something, then something comes and boom! life changes completely so for everybody will be differently but one message is for all of us to follow our dreams our own dreams based on who we truly are now archangel gabriel says the law of attraction 
Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations and you will attract more positivity into your life. I don't know about you, but that's me exactly what I'm doing. I absolutely believe in this law big time and I already cut so many people of my life, um, out of my life because um, they were too negative or too toxic. So um, I understand the message fully. It's very good because you feel lighter, you feel happier, okay, without that heavy energy, very 3D. Simplify your life. And of course, perfectly goes with everything else. So eliminate clutter from your home, from your workplace, from your mind, from your emotions, whatever feels too heavy whatever feels like a chaos, whatever feels like a, like a toxic situation or people or whatever. Again, eliminate, clean, clean your house. Simplicity is really the answer, so don't go heavy. Once you want to absolutely take that leap of faith and believing in all the best and positive, go light, don't go heavy. When it comes to love, definitely is worth waiting for. So now, let's say you are single, but you just met, met someone. Or well, maybe that's not exactly the right person yet. If you don't see anybody, that's okay. Somebody really good is already on the horizon. So be patient, divine timing. And somebody who is married, flirt with each other. Be more lighthearted because maybe it was too heavy. Maybe it was more about problems than happiness. Just flirt. When it comes to your lifestyle, absolutely make sure you eat and drink and live the healthy lifestyle. Improve your diet. Watch what you put in your body. I made some videos about this and, and really it changes. Right now I don't eat, I, I'm not a sweet tooth person, but I don't eat any sweets, period, and I already feel a lot better. So watch what you're eating. Many of you, because we're going to the different dimension and that requires higher vibration. And higher vibration is being vegetarian or vegan. So. Uh, maybe that's what is for you. And what the energy we're going to July with. Whatever you're doing, do more research. Don't jump into anything into July. So it's going to be a situation like this before knowing what you're doing. You may be attending seminars with this Mars going uh, forward on 29, you're deciding I'm learning more, I want to become more knowledgeable, so I'm going to attend seminars, and some of us may be giving seminars. Um, so whatever we're doing, we're either learning or we're teaching or both, but um, it's learning, 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 and teaching. That's what we're going to july wait thank you thank you very much love you all wish you the best send you many kisses <laughs> hugs have a great month and until the next time and the next time it's gonna be for july and august bye